Lawmakers filed a new bill allowing school security guards to put students receiving special education in handcuffs. Right now, that authority only exists for school resource officers. State Capitol reporter Chris O'Brien looks at this legislation. House Bill 127 says a school resource officer, school security officer, or other law enforcement officer may use a mechanical restraint on a student receiving special education services in an emergency situation. I'm bringing this to be able to help our school security officers to be able to help uh, manage behavioral problems. Hamilton County Republican Representative Greg Martin says the Hamilton County School Board attorney asked him to file this bill. Currently, only school resource officers can put a child receiving special education in handcuffs. This bill expands that to include school security officers. They work a Monday through Friday job. They're not a sworn deputy. Many of them are retired sheriff's deputy, police officers, etc. And they are not allowed to restrain uh, a child that is uh, having a behavioral problems. When asked about potential blowback, Barton seems surprised. Well, I think it's about protecting people from harming themselves and harming others. And, and I certainly everyone in the legislature would be for protecting children from harming themselves and harming other children. Though Martin will run into some sort of opposition. And that's something we need to be very cautious in moving forward on, being special needs. There are things that are out of their control. I think we need to tread very carefully. Nashville Democrat Representative John Ray Clemens says this bill shouldn't be a priority. We need to make sure we're more focused on protecting these children and educating them than restraining them. But Martin argues this bill accomplishes the goal of protection. Cain slew Abel. Cain slew Abel. Children can be violent. Under this bill, it's important to note that any officer the state authorizes to use handcuffs has to undergo a behavioral intervention training program. And the number of school security officers actually has grown over the past few years. Take Knox County, for example. WATE reported back in August that this school year has more school security officers in that school district than ever before. In Nashville, Chris O'Brien. All right, Chris, thank you so much. Now, what is the difference between a school security officer and a school resource officer? An SRO works for a local law enforcement agency and is assigned to a school. An SSO is generally employed by a local school board, not affiliated nor certified through a law enforcement agency.